Hey, man. Very true. You're a very angry person. <laughs> like he went to go get it, or he got ordered to his house. Oh, okay, okay. Brother, brother. <laughs> Either way, here we are, man. Welcome to the WMAP, the We Might Argue podcast. Look at us. We're all here right on time, even though we're 30 minutes late from the time we all said we were going to start recording. Here we are. I mean, we didn't, you Look, know. What? I'm just going to be audio, audio only because I'm not trying to eat on stream. So. Why, why, why? Let's see that. We're, that's that's how- what? What do you Let's got? What? what do you got? What do you got? Hey, what do you got going on, bro? I just got a sub. You know, cold cut combo. So we can't see it? No, you guys are just going to get hungry. I ate. I don't want to do that to you. Oh, wait. God didn't eat. eat. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, man. But anyway, um, how's y'all week, man? How y'all been? Good. That's what's up, man. I take this uh, nice birthday party for Michael yesterday. Boiled. Mine yeah, where did you? Where was that? It was here in the in the yard, but the truck came here, and literally, it's like it looked. I think it was a fifty three footer, maybe maybe smaller. No, yeah, maybe yeah, it's probably smaller. Maybe like thirty feet long, uh, thirty foot trailer, and it had like what eight eight or nine screens. Freaking, yeah, that's, that's pretty spoiled. Yeah, Nintendo switches, PS fives. That's actually crazy. I and, didn't even know you could actually do that. And you know, that's just that's just how life be sometimes, you know, when you're born into a rich family, you feel me? Um I'm I'm very happy for Micah to be able to experience the things that I have not. Who was <laughs> rich? <laughs> you're rich. Um yeah, you grew up in the suburbs. Bro, like, you, you had like a trailer with what? ten TVs in it. I I I wouldn't even know where to get that. You're yeah. rich. It's okay though. Yeah, that, that's some crazy resources y'all got to to, yeah, to get all that life. done for a seven year old boy. <laughs> you know, when you're born this country and white, it's <laughs> and that's what's up, man. <laughs> John say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Jump, man. <laughs> oh shit! I'm only half white. Okay. Okay, I didn't even know that to be honest with you. Oh yeah, you're from like Nova Scotia, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure somewhere down the line. <laughs> oh fuck. But hey man, you know it's a it's a dark day. Uh over the weekend there have been rumors that Kevin Samuels has passed. Um if you don't know, he is a a black man advocating for black success. Um Maybe his message wasn't exactly the nicest, you know, and a lot of what he has said has been perceived as disrespectful and rude. And, you know, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue that too much. But uh, he is a person, a human being. He has unfortunately passed. Um, And it's just it's just crazy to me that people uh, celebrated it. You feel me? What? Yeah, women um were celebrating his his passing. Um, yeah. See, the thing is, I had to Google it because I wasn't. I okay, I didn't really know. Like, I knew who he was, but I didn't know exactly his opinions. I feel like they were like borderline misogynistic, but I didn't know the exact like opinions I mean, he gave. I mean, so well, let's clarify that. What is his opinion? Um, I mean, well. I'm sure what you have seen is, you know, the misogynistic bits that you've seen. But, I mean, it, for him, it went both ways. You feel me? He would have a field day with both men and women based on, you know, their own situations. Yeah. Based on, you know, yeah. it went it went both ways. You feel me? I'm, I'm sure, you know, me being who I am, he would have a field day with me. You feel me? I would probably cry at the end of a conversation with him. Um, yeah. Oh, but, um, yeah, man, he's... uh. He 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 made a lot of good points, um, and it's just sad to see him go. Uh, so you know, prayers and prayers and thoughts go out to his family, um, and all that. You feel me? And that's just kind of where I wanted to start off. I don't know where y'all want to go with the rest of this podcast, <laughs> but um, um. Yeah, because I saw that a lot on Twitter, like, people were getting at him, like, yeah, there were a lot of women who were like, yeah, like, it's a good thing he's dead now, 
and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, like he had an opinion, but like he also he also like you know had a family. He did keep. It's not like he was necessarily like a single stand person. Like he would say some stuff about men where it's just like you should be like this. Which again, I don't necessarily agree with the opinion, but it's not like he was being harsh only towards like certain like people. Like he just had a very narrow minded opinion. Mm. Hey Brandon, you got you got a big dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh no, it's 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 small. I just tried to put sunglasses on top of glasses. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I just remember that one clip. <laughs> He's trying to figure out this other dude because yeah. I think he was making like 10k a year. I was like, man, you, oh. got, you got a big dick. <laughs> so, I mean it's above average. Yeah, that was terrible. do you guys believe in that whole thing like this right here? Like the distance between your pinky and your thumb is the size of your uh your dick. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna keep it a thou out. I feel like we should be nothing but transparent for the podcast. I I have a micro penis. How how, how micro, far do you how how, how 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 big is that? Put these on so like my eyes don't look like I don't like I don't like shirt. talking about it too much. It, uh... No, that's that's good. I mean I don't really know. I haven't tried it out. How far do you do you spread it, Brandon? Is it like as as far as you can go? You wind it as far as you can. It's go? like cowboy bunga, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? It's like one of them ones. Oh, one of them ones. There. Do you do you do look, you guys do how this? Far your thumb extends. When... <laughs> yeah, it goes back far. That's why I'm asking. Like, yo, how far do I do I? Like, yeah, yeah. So you know what we? I think we answered yours. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Tariq. Tariq definitely has one. Those short dudes be having like a hey, yo. How do you know that, man? <laughs> how do you know that? What's going huh? on here? Wait, wait, how small is micro? Is it three inches and less, right? I think so, yeah. I'm not sure of the criteria. Three inches? Wait, the game's oh yeah, it's seven o'clock. Jeez. Oh no, seven thirty. Why why don't you uh Google it, Brandon? Google it. Tell us. I'm not googling that. <laughs> just control shift and that thing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incognito. Then you can just, then, then can just you know, what? What? take it out of the search screen. Incognito. Uh, yeah, inco- yo, use an incognito tab. What do you okay, mean? Okay, okay, we established <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, how many times did we just say incognito? <laughs> 2.5. What? In men and stretch. But yeah, all, all, all I'm trying to say is just, three you know, two not... thirds inches. So, yeah, I feel like that's like big for a micro penis. Three inches, three two thirds inches, so almost four. When it's erect. See now you got me. All right, bro. I just wanted to say, man. You know, it's just not cool that people are 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 praising um and celebrating another man's uh. Um, unfortunate demise. You feel me? So, uh, again, again, uh, thoughts Jeez. and prayers go out to his family. Uh, did do you guys know how he died? Nope. I don't think that was ever. Yeah, I don't think I that's been because this was like a few, yeah. a few days ago. So, yeah, I'm pretty like, sure. Horrible. I'm pretty sure he beat cancer at one point in his life. Hmm. So I'm not saying it is cancer, but. I think it's I see something called cancer. Mm, it's something yeah. with that and eight and like his at uh, age twenty four and something like that. I don't know. Yeah, wow. but there was never an autopsy, so you don't even know how he died. They they, they didn't release that information yet, right? Because his death was rumored, right? Mm-hmm. And people are just gone with the fact that he's passed away, but there's no official report, you know, like from TMZ or whatever. Mm. But I mean, but it has been confirmed by the family. I think. Uh, uh, like oh, they two, posted two, something two or three days ago. Um, oh, okay. Well, I, I don't. I don't yeah, think it was posted not... by the family. But from what I've seen, it was um, two different people saying that the family told them that. Um, oh, okay. That I think um, it was already known that they were close, sort of thing. Yeah. Do you guys agree with his views? Um. Do you guys agree with his views? Oh. Uh, no. Um, 
I, I mean, I, like, what's 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 an example of 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 uh, some of the things you said, man? I've only seen like the funny shit. Like, I don't I don't really know too much. You know, I didn't follow his whole. Yeah. Okay. Well, even even the funny stuff, I think he was just being real, and it just. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Um, I don't personally agree with. Um. I don't think you have to follow what he says to be happy with yourself. But I do think um, some of what he said was true when you look at society and what men and women want from the opposite sex. For example, the guy with the... uh, The guy who he asked if he had a big dick. So it was funny when he was questioning him, but he didn't have a big dick, didn't have any money, didn't really have any job, and he was around 22. And he's having problems with women. So he was like, okay, well, you're not in shape, so you're not good looking. You don't have any money, and you don't have any sex game, so what are women getting? Like, those are kind of three things that you have to have at least one of them if you want to see a woman. Mm. And so um, it came off as harsh, but I think he was just being truthful the way he presents information is a, is a bit aggressive. oh yeah for sure yeah. Um, it's just a bit harsh i, yeah, de- I definitely do believe that though what, what he is saying but he's but see he's the type of guy that's not gonna lie to you he's gonna yeah. tell you straight right. up at this and this and this you need to do this and this this you know to succeed i mean all those things are what women are looking for so if you don't have like he's like the worst case scenario not being mean or anything but he's the worst case scenario well he doesn't have anything so he's asking, I guess... he's asking the right question what are women getting from you because what can you offer them yeah i think you just give guess... on how to provide value yeah i guess i can agree with his perspectives in some points like especially when it when it comes to like like one-off scenarios like if i go to a club and i see some or i see some girls right like they're only going to look at those factors because they just seen me or, like, know me for the first time. They're going to, like, look at how, like, well, I'll come back to what I want to say about that point later. But, like, they're going to look at how I look, so, like, how good looking I am. Um, do I have money? Which kind of, you can kind of see at the club whether or not a person has money. True. And then, um, I forgot the third thing that you guys mentioned, but... When you, um, big dick, well, you find no sex game, I guess that was the third thing, but they don't really find that out on the first interaction. But when you at least don't have those first two things, like if you're just seeing someone on a one time basis, you're never gonna like lure them, right? If you're seeing this person repetitively, then it's a bit different, like that's where something like a personality might come in, yeah, or like even like, oh, how funny is this person. Because the point I want to branch off to is, like, are you, like, looks first or personality first or something like that? But I think anyone who says personality first is a liar. I think so, too. Yes. Because um, at the end of the day, we all look with our eyes first. I guess if you're forced to talk to this someone, ben, to someone... Ben, what are you doing? What? No, no, no Ben uh, said Ben. What are you doing? He's just saying he agrees no i i'm i'm saying that i'm i'm a personality guy man i ain't gonna lie to you but Uh, you at least start off as a looks person fuck no okay so let me ask you this Ben. so let's say you walk on the street you see a girl how would you know how her personality is okay like here's my thing right i don't uh i i've never been in a position where i felt like i needed to approach a woman off you know off the strength of how they look you feel mm-hmm. me? Um, just the places that I'm at, if I get to know someone, like say at work, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like if I know people at work, I see them regularly, I get to mm-hmm. know them over time. I don't really care about looks. But when I find out that, oh, they're, you know, they're good people, whatever. If I haven't already established that, yeah, we're friends. If I haven't already established that or it just isn't established overall throughout our conversations, mm-hmm. it's like then I might be applying pressure. You feel me? Because, like, you know, I fuck with them. I got to know them over time type shit, whatever the fuck. And then it could just get, you know, then you just dive deeper. 
in so, in my opinion. My counterpoint to that is I'm not saying that you necessarily like can't like someone's personality even over time, but the first thing you become attracted to someone is their looks. I mean, in my opinion, for most people, like, I guess. Not like even if I find someone attractive, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm into them. But that's the that's the engagement. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, it's an engagement, but but I understand what Ben's saying because there's some people who just like they they're more intellectual and they prefer intelligence over looks. So they are willing, like doesn't matter how they look, but just because they're able to you know have a conversation. And you know, talk about stuff and talk about character and all that. Yeah, bro. It goes a long way. Like, bro, you 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 can find the finest person. You feel me? Based off looks, ten out of ten, you approach them and they're like so dumb. Yeah, like, what a waste work. of time. Yeah, see, that's me? the point I'm making, though. Like, it. I'm not saying it necessarily leads to like, oh, just because they look good, that means you're gonna date them and they have a trash personality. Yeah. They can end up not looking good and having great personality, and you still date them. The point I'm making, though, is the first thing that happens is the looks. Like, you don't just go... When you walk up to someone and start talking to them, you didn't think, oh, well, maybe maybe a few people might do this. You didn't... I won't walk up to a girl and be like, wow, she. I think she has a great personality. Let me go talk to her. No. No. By the same no. time, I feel like with Ben's approach, he has to be the one to be approached. Like, in order, like, let's say he's he's doing the work scenario. At work, you're dealing with so many people, and because you're at work, you're just doing your job. Out on the street, you're not doing a job, so you don't have any... If you're not that type of person to go and talk to people, then you're not going to do that. Yeah. But if he's out on the street, and let's say we reverse the roles and say, let's say a girl walks up to him, then that's where he can test out the personality, because obviously she approached him, she probably finds him attractive, or has the same, you know, thing that he has where he's personality first. Oh, he seems like an intellectual or he seems like this. And you start talking and you can get a, a figure of how her personality is. Regardless so, of how... <clears throat> I'm the prize. You feel me? I'm the prize. I'm not going to lie. You are I the prefer prize. To get, I, I prefer to get approached. And one of the well, things... Was, what, yeah, I mean, one of the things, like when I, like with my, like, with, right? I dated her because she was one of the people at work, right? She was one of the people that I work with. And I, although I talked to her, I didn't really find her, I found her attractive, but not as attractive as, you know, like, let's say, like, to up my standards or whatever. But at the same time, she knew how to talk. She was funny and all that stuff. So <clears throat> at the same time, it's um, it's like what, you know, uh, she made the effort to get to know me. And we dated. It's just based off of, you know, personality. But they have to go hand in hand. That's all I'm saying. How do you date someone you're unattracted to, though? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, this, this is what I'm saying, though. Obviously, <clears throat> you're attracted to them, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I did like her. But obviously, there was stuff that after I dated her, there was stuff about a person that I didn't like. So that's why I didn't last. Okay. So you can be attracted to the most beautiful person, but obviously if you see red no. flag, then it's not going to work. <laughs> so here's the point I make. I'm a personality person, but the first thing I see is how you look, right? Like, that's the first thing. Like, if yeah. you look great and your personality doesn't mesh with mine, like, whatsoever, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to generate that connection with you. Like, like, I have to have a connection with the person I'm with. So if you're, like, a 10 out of 10, right, I approach you, whatever, and your personality's trash, then it's not going to really work out long-term, at least, yeah. right? So the point I was making is everyone's first, like, thought is through looks. It's not through, wow, I think she's going to be, like, a really, like, great <clears throat> personality match with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So, yes, over time, especially if you interact with this person a lot, personality could outweigh looks. Because it's happened to me before where I've liked a girl who, like, maybe didn't look the greatest, but their personality was so good. Yeah. But um, yeah. it can outweigh <laughs> looks. But I'm saying off of, like, at least if, you're, if you were interested in that person from the jump, 
that looks overweight the personality. If you're like, oh, I want to like someone, and you look at them and you don't like them, you're not going to think about your their personality. But over time, you might that personality might be able to get you over whatever hump you have. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Ben, how do you? you... So okay. Ben, you could be in a relationship with someone that you're unattracted to physically. Yeah, I think so. You I think, think so. so. Like, um, no, like here, listen, hear me out, right? I'm mm-hmm. not necessarily someone that is uh like actively looking for a relationship. So, off looks, if there are just people around me that I've messed with, you feel me? And I see them often, or if I see them like, even like more than once, it's like cool. You you might be someone that that's gonna stick around for a bit. So I might as well, you know, try and get to know you then and there. Like just the mm-hmm. just the fact, just the literal fact that they're there. And I've seen them for a second or third or fourth time. It's like, cool. I might just go out of my way to get to know you, see what's up. You know, feel out the vibe. If I want to be your friend, we could be friends. If I think, you know, it can go a little deeper than that, then I'll apply pressure. I'll, I'll pursue type shit. You feel me? Like, does that make sense? Yeah. Because, like, yeah. based off looks, like what I said before, if, if I were to approach someone based off looks alone, and then I come to find out they're dumb or annoying or whatever, then I might just have to just, you feel me? Not even bother. Tariq? Yeah. Oh, what? baby. But I'm, I'm not someone that's just like, I never think of someone like, oh, instinctively cool. Like, oh, wow, look at them. They look, they look fine. They're like a 9 out of 10 on my, on my look scale. Like, that doesn't really exist to me, I don't think. Like, I'm... Well, I'm pretty sure. Mm. No, just me. I feel like uh, in like that regard, I'm probably like the zero point five percent type shit. So zero point zero one yeah. type shit. I mean, so like retrospectively, you're saying that um, like when you see someone. You, like, when you see someone, a girl, right? You're never interested off of the bat. No. Okay, well, then that's a different conversation entirely. Yeah. yeah that's a... Because, like, I'm talking about when you first see someone. It, you're talking about when you see someone, you're never interested. And then over time, you talk to them, and you get interested through their personality. And then, in turn, their looks may become more attractive to you. It's just, to start off with, No, I'm, not I'm just saying, look... Initially, you're saying you get attracted to someone off looks initially, and that's what starts the conversation. Me, I'm saying no, I don't base it off looks initially. I just base it off like, because I want to protect my own time, and that's just me and my weird brain. It's just, if I see them again, it's like, oh, okay, cool. They might be someone that's going to be around quite a bit. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Yeah. It's water. Yeah, what are you drinking? Agua. Are you sure, like? No, it's uh, Kirkland. Oh, okay. That can yeah, Kirkland is not bad. Can we establish all water isn't the same? Is not oh, 100%. Bad. All water is not 100%. Um, so the sunny smart can water we... can kick rocks. And uh, Any sort of sparkling. Suck my dick. Um, Aquafina is worse? terrible. Aquafina to Sunny, what's worse? I would Aquafina. say Aquafina. Yeah, I would say Aquafina. Yeah. Actually, I want to be different. I want to say Dasani now. I'm Dasani too. I <laughs> hate you. Actually, no, they're cool. I haven't changed to Dasani in a long time. Dasani is like ice cold. It's drinkable. If you're thirsty, really? if you're in a desert and you're thirsty and dehydrated, I still wouldn't drink the sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's disgusting. I hate this honey. Yeah, it's all bad, man. Smart water isn't that great. Um, Smart um, water is okay. All right. I feel like the Last stuff time. that you get in like twenty four packs are amazing. Oh wait, you could also get the sign in twenty four. Like, like Nestle Pure Life is amazing. Yeah, yeah whatever Nestle. you can get at like Walmart or whatever. Kirkland is also pretty great. Nestle? Costco. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, yeah the Pure Look. Look. Sponsor us. Nestle. Nestle. Uh, Nestle. 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 Yeah, yeah, Who Nestle. said Nestle? Brandon. Who said Nestle? Yo, oh, I, say, I, say Nestle. I say Nestle. Bro, bro, no, no, I say no, Nestle. I say Nestle. You got to correct. I'm sorry. Is that sparkling water? Good. Yeah. Sparkling right, water. You're done. Disgusting. You're done. You're disgusting. You're kicked out of the podcast. You like sparkling water? Hell no. No. You guys don't like sparkling water? water? Why? Why? That's sewer so water, sparkling? man. Any sewer flavored water? water as well. It's just carbonated it's water. water bubbles. Yeah, wow, amazing. Let me let me get some water. Let me splash some fruit or whatever. And let me carbonate it. Wow. So innovative. No, it's un- it's just water. It's unflavored. I don't really get the berry ones and shit like that. Just yeah, like those that. are weird, but even regular, regular, bro, it's like, um, you ever had like that? You ever tasted the liquid out of battery? No, Ben, why were you licking batteries? It was an, okay, first of all, it was an accident. Secondly, they have very similar tastes, so I don't fuck with that, bro. Tastes like battery acid? Is that what comes it's out of water it? Water tastes like battery acid. Is that what comes out of it? And then I guess that's what it is, bro. Yo, y'all think I'm gonna fold today? I'm not gonna fold today, man. Fam, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Sparkling water is not is not good. But I don't like it's carbonation. True. That's just me. I don't like carbonation. You yeah. Bubbles in your mouth? I don't even fuck with uh, like soda like that. Hey you. No, no, oh, no. that's not really disgusting. It actually like adds to the flavor. Well, you should know, like that's why I always drink iced tea over like you know Coke and stuff. Yeah, that's like why that. I drink beer. Be a man. Jeez. <laughs> that's why my favorite alcoholic drink is coke and rum because like the rum kind of dissolves the carbonation of the coke oh i thought your favorite would have been a long island well it's whatever you know what i mean though hey, y'all got any topics or am i just gonna dive into my notebook i'm diving into the notebook to start dive i had into one. my notebook eh? all right man we'll see what happens in a bit we will see what happens let's see I'm a, I'm gonna go through the list, and uh, y'all stop me when y'all wanna. You feel me? All right, let's see. Who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? Stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna start off. Gay son, thought daughter. Oh um, my goodness. How many? Oh, I shouldn't talk about that. Um. Is this appropriate for the podcast? That one garbage friend on the sticks. We might need to rearrange our, our roster right now to, to have that conversation. Um, <laughs> the the side effects. Oh, no, I probably shouldn't talk about that either. I might get canceled for that one. Uh, do you need a girlfriend to have a skincare routine? No, you don't. Yes, no. That's why there's social media. But I didn't really care about, you know, I mean, in my personal opinion, I think my skin is fine. It was only my face that was more of the issue. But it's just because women are just like beauty. They they care about how they look, right? So they're going to be able to tell you which stuff to get. That's that's it. I think it's a benefit of that because you don't have to put in that much work for it. And if you're in a relationship, she can tell you what items are good. And yeah. Could definitely had you on a skincare routine. No, no. <laughs> um, I, started, I didn't start my skin. My well, I don't even have a skincare. I just have a face routine, and that was all. That was all Jade. Do you guys she hear gives echo you facial? Huh? What? Do you guys hear echo on Tree Talks? No, no, it's fine. Okay. It's, but um, I mean, I don't think so because I have a girlfriend and I don't have a skincare routine. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, I don't Julia think Julia has told you anything out of all like, people. Julia told you anything? I'm surprised. No. Like, get, I get, I get got... close to the mic right now. Let's see, let's see your face, man. Huh? Oh, uh, no, nah, you, you got filters on anyway. Filters. Damn, how that looks so fucking nah, nah. I need to see you up close, bro. No, so clean. That it's looks clean. a little that I... no, I don't, I don't really have acne problems. Damn, you just look like that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, don't get twisted. Like, like I'm murked, but, like, I don't have acne problems. Hey, man. So, like, you know. Stop talking it, about yourself like that. You... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, 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 I used to have warts up here back in middle school. 
like I used to get it like once every day. Sorry, not once every day, once every month. And then like some doctor like injected it with a needle. It like kind of blew up and just fell off. But I haven't really had acne problems. Um, maybe some dry skin, but that's 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 pretty much it. And blackheads. Yeah, blackheads are my weakness, bro. But like, but like real, like red, like pimples and like acne scars and stuff like that. I don't really have. Mm. What a blessing. Okay, okay. Because I don't like, do anything to stop them. Because I remember, um, okay. hey, John, you agreed, right? What? I said, John, yeah, bro. Why do you always think I'm talking to you, nigga? I, don't know, I like, want to know what the question is. This, this is what I use on my face: body lotion. Did you get that from Julia? I, Wait, what? No. <laughs> she, eyes, huh? She'd be she upset eyes. if she saw this. Yeah. yeah. In Montreal, she's like, uh, she sees me putting cocoa butter in my face. She's like, Elijah, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it, it works. You're not supposed to buy those on your face. I'm not yes. gonna lie, bro. Yeah. It's that too. Yeah, if Julia does watch it, this is what I use. So skip to this part. <laughs> mm. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we I need like one day where we all just get put on like we all just have like our own spa day one day you feel me okay, okay that, was, like, that was my next question all, all, all the men i'm going to the spa yeah 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 i've never been, never been to a spa me neither a massage nah you don't go to a massage ending? no don't don't go to a massage because i know you guys are going to want the women to massage you bro don't go to the massage, I get a to massage me. huh i did get a woman to massage me. exactly bro that's the problem man you don't get nothing done you need a man to massage you no yeah, no, you no, no. <laughs> How else you need they... a man to deal with you bro it's because like you know they're just stronger you feel me so like they actually you know what i mean they actually like get in there like no no homo shit bro like chill out man. i know you guys are like see it's it's only homo hands on you the lady was pretty good with it yeah she was, she was sturdy yeah was she like yeah, she... brolic or like no, she was a petite little Asian lady. Um, yeah, nah, bro. I'm telling you. They I know you're not nice gonna though. try, but I'm just saying, when, small, if you get a man to do small, it, it's like, gonna be it's gonna be a completely different experience. Those small Asian ladies put in work, though. Pause they up. Do. They but do. they do put in work. But you've never you've never had a man to compare, right? So like, we're not really having a conversation. He definitely got a happy ending. That's why he's so satisfied. Exactly, bro. But y'all just want to hear he sucked. <laughs> Our other friend did. In, y'all don't want to uh, fix your background. But uh, oh my god, I don't even see that guy. I still remember that. I still this guy came home like twenty hours later. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you got yeah. kidnapped, bro. This guy's gone too Dang. long. This guy, this guy must last forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who it is. But um, I wouldn't oh want man to be rubbing, rubbing me down. I, this feels a little uncomfortable for some reason. Wait, what did you say? I don't know. He said I he'd feel uncomfortable with the man rubbing him down. Yeah. See, it's only like that because of your head. No, that is true. That is true. I agree. It's like, what do you what do you go to a massage for, bro? You got back problems, don't you? I do. Yeah, exactly, I do. bro. And you still do. But it's if you old. went to, um, I didn't go for a back problem, a back massage, like to alleviate my back pain. It was just, um, just to really let loose. I'm not gonna lie though. Yeah. If I'm ever if I'm ever getting massage from a dude, terrible. and then he asks oh. me for a happy ending, yeah, no, that's raps, bro. I'm gonna have back problems what? for the rest of my life. Like that's gonna be crazy. That's like the day I need to figure out. <laughs> I need to figure out if that's like suitable or something. <laughs> 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 like, Wait, did you do that? Hey, hey, hey yo, we not names. I swear, he did, he did, but we can't say names. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to tell their own story. We we can't really do that stuff. So I'm just gonna blur those ones out stuff. Yeah, but um, yeah, he did. The thing is, right? I don't think I can ever do that because think about it. You walk into that room, and if it's been a, a long time establishment, semen's been all over this place. There's <laughs> an MVP race um in the NBA right now between Nikola Jokic. Um, and Joel Embiid. For the audience, Joel Embiid is um, from Kenya, and Jokic is from... Jokic won it, though. I think he's from, Ser- think he's from Serbia? Did he already win it? He already won it. No, it's announced it is for his kid, though. But... Well, Waj, Waj said it. Oh. He's Eastern European. Is it Serbia? He's Serbia. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So the last, the last mm-hmm. four MVPs have all been foreign Should NBA have players. National. Yeah. Um, there's conversation going around saying that um, people believe that Jokic is likely to win it because of his uh, skin color. Well, he's Wait, already what? won it. You, like, know this. He's already people, won it. People are saying that he's going to win because of, um, you know, bias. Because he's white. Uh, I don't think so, because Giannis won it the two years prior. I don't agree with that either. Like, Giannis has won it two years before. If you go back and look at the MVP, like, award, like... People of color have won it like ninety nine percent of the time. That's true, but there also wasn't really, um, really any white people who were in the in the race. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, Steve Nash won it. Steve Nash won it twice. Went back, back, I think. No. Yeah. Like when, over in all the MVP conversations, a lot of times the, the people involved in the, in the conversation are not white. But whenever there is, they win. That's what people are saying. I don't know. Agree with this, but that's what people are saying. So Steve Nash, Nikola Jokic, Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki, I think. Did he win an MVP? I think so, yeah. Wait, Nowitzki didn't win? He has won. Yeah, he has won. Yeah. In my opinion, Jokic did. I think he... Embiid was like a close, you know, a close second. Like, it was really close. But I feel like Jokic, what he did for his team... Like the man balled his ass off, and he had no no secondary or third option, and he was still able to carry it into the playoffs. I think like, Jokic won because he had the better season. Yeah, I, don't I don't think Jokic is necessarily the better player, but he had the I mean, better season. It, it, uh, yeah, I I don't I don't think race has 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 a role in. It. Yeah. Quick side note, uh, would uh, Gobert lock Shaq up? Hell no. Come on. Come on. It's face. Hell no. <laughs> and I said, this Come guy on. Gobert's been out here on Twitter or Instagram saying he would lock what? Shaq up. That's what he said? Yeah. yeah so he said he'd hold Shaq to, to 12 points. Now, first and of then, all, uh, Rudy Gobert... Is probably like 230, 240. Shaq is like 800 pounds. Like, what? How was he going to stop it him? Is, I think in his prime, in his prime, like his Kobe years, yeah. I think he was. Fab, this guy, this guy said he would only score 12 points, and then Shaq said, yeah, 12 points in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, why would he even say that? Didn't Westbrook just like send him to the graveyard this year? That was a guard. So imagine what Shaq would be doing. Shaq, Shaq would kill that guy. Kill even, that guy. It's not even a discussion. No, I don't know. Um, if we, if even if we started playing basketball, if I took Gobert to the perimeter, that's game, and I'm trash. <laughs> like you know, like yeah, okay, yeah, you're a great interior defense. You're seven one with like a humongous wingspan. Shaq's going to dunk right on your head top. He's going to be dunking so hard that the ball will go through the mesh and just hit him on his head. I'm talking about Shaq when he was like 400 pounds. Bro, he, yeah. they're getting bodied. Like one one drop step and this guy's going to be on the floor. You know, he was on a podcast um, the other day and someone asked him if he has problems in the bedroom because of his abnormally large size. Um, that was a pretty interesting thing to ask somebody first off, and uh, he said he said he doesn't though. He said he doesn't. I mean, I would doubt it. At the end of the day, even for him, he can just you know lay on his back and you know deal with his thing. Wait, what was he asking? Oh, yes. Um, like, like yo, 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 Gobert is not strong, bro. He's not. Uh, ben, they asked him if he has problems in the bedroom. Oh. Because of his... That's a weird thing to ask. I know. But hey, man. Speaking of um, 
trouble in the bedroom. You know who doesn't have trouble in the bedroom? Fucking Giannis Antetokounmpo, man. Did you see that picture of him? Yo, did, you see, did, you guys, did you guys see the thing of him eating those Oreos? Oh. I did see him eat the Oreos, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, there's a, I saw him packing the Oreos. I'm going to show y'all a picture yeah, yeah. of what I've seen of Giannis. I don't think I can show it on... Uh, I don't think I can show it on here. But, the thing uh, is, I need oh, to see it. Let me... Let me I just I have to blur it out. Hold on. Yeah, blur that shit. Y'all, y'all, just, y'all just keep talking. I was trying to find it. But yeah, um... What's it called? Like... I don't understand how we've never been introduced to Oregon. That's crazy. They don't have Oreos in Greece? I don't know. But this guy's like, this was the, this guy was on like Instagram live or whatever. And he was like, yo, Oreos and milk is like the best thing he's ever. Oh, he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Ever yeah. like freaking eaten or something. Yeah. It's like, what? We've been God eating this America. since like five years old. God bless America right after. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, this man's been in the, was in you know, in the freaking what's it called? I don't even know. I can't really remember the freaking word. Under a rock, I think that's uh, yeah, the yeah, there's a rock. Yeah, there. Let's call being in Greece. Oh my gosh, <laughs> blur that out. Damn, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened? Being in Greece under his conditions. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Wait, what happened? No. <laughs> you know, he was like, because um, about the oil thing. So he's like, that's called being in Greece. I, yeah. Because I'm not saying Greece. that he was in Greece. Well, maybe they just don't sell it in Greece. I'm, I'm not calling just, people I, in Greece. Just, Why don't you put that out? That's not bad. That's an international slogan, man. Mr. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating on Greece. I'm like, maybe he just couldn't afford it and it wasn't really readily available. Cookies, man. You're going to tell me you can't afford cookies. Maybe they don't have Oreos there. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure there's some mainstay stuff in Europe that you just can't get here. Apparently there is stuff. Europe. There's like, yeah, there's like sweets and candies that you can't get here. But yeah. it's like it's so popular over there, like it's literally seen everywhere over there. Yeah, that's true. Apparently, you guys have been, so maybe you guys can um, remind me. But apparently, in Europe, uh, like the chocolate um, is made with real milk. Here, you're not allowed to put uh, real milk in the chocolate candies and stuff. You have to use powdered milk. It's like the, Ore- the Oreos and like you know the old Henrys and stuff. They're not as good as they are in Europe because so they're, they're powdered milk real. chocolate. They can use real milk in Europe in their chocolates. Not real dairy. Move, move. Yes, you have chocolate when you're up there. Does it taste better? Wait, what? Did you guys have any chocolate when you're in Europe? Did it taste better? Oh, when I went to Europe? Yeah. I didn't really even eat chocolate over there. I just ate like the freaking churros. Oh. The churros and the freaking and the hot chocolate that they use. Like it's it, it's like real thick hot chocolate, and when you dunk the churro inside, oh my god! I think that was, that was in Spain because they call it chocolate on churro, and oh my goodness, like it was so nice. But the thing is, I think that that was like real real chocolate because it was bitter. It had like that bitter taste at the end. Oh okay okay yeah yeah. yeah. That's how you know it's like real it's chocolate. Like dark chocolate. And it's like also a dark healthy. chocolate. Yeah, like a dark chocolate. Yeah. But oh my gosh, man! I think I had that like every morning I was in Spain, because there was little there was like a little shop by the uh, the hotel that we were staying at, and yeah, like when we were, when we were walking outside, that's all I got as a snack. But yeah, imagine to go back over there. That place is beautiful, but it's also really like poor in some areas. Like just looking at like in Madrid, especially. Like, if you're not in the city and you're kind of, like, in, like, the town region parts, oh. it's, it's, like, people are, you know, doing things for money and stuff and oh. dirty in some areas. And it's kind of hard to look at. But, um, yeah, like, it sucks that I got to go to the Madrid Stadium. Yes, nah. I'd rather want, I would have wanted to go to the Barcelona one, but we didn't have enough time. But in my opinion, Barcelona is 
Well, I've only been to two places in Spain, but Barcelona, in my opinion, is, is more beautiful than, than Madrid. Madrid. Yeah, I've been to yeah. Barcelona. Like, where we were staying, um, like, the hotel was, like, at the top of a hill. And I think from the hotel, you could see, like, um, like down the hill leading up to the beach. And I'm telling you, like, the sunset and everything looks so nice. If you can choose anywhere to live, your top three places. Ooh. Um... Probably Houston, Texas, because it's cheap. Because it's cheap. I already know. Man. And it's basically, it's basically Toronto, just, just hot. You feel me? So, I wouldn't mind going there. Um, let's see. I also probably go to like Switzerland type shit. I gotta go somewhere cold. You feel me? Just in case. Um, you got money for that? Well, I mean, hopefully, hopefully in the future I do. You know what I mean? Hypothetical. This is a hypothetical. Oh, yeah, Switzerland is pretty nice. They got a dirty mask. Their, they healthcare no system, their healthcare system and stuff is nice. Mm-hmm. In the last spot? My last spot Give me a wild would probably card. be like... You said what? Give me a wild card. Give me a something wild I card? Uh, Yemen. All right, who's next? Yemen. What? All right, who's next? <laughs> I would not. I would have. I would have not. Never heard that come out of your mouth. He There's said. He said wild card. I said my wild card. I will go There's to Yemen. There's a famine going on in Yemen right now. And that's fine. Yeah, but and like, I, there better not be Dasani because then otherwise I'll die of dehydration. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Elijah. Uh, you uh, can go either one. Yeah. Actually, man, I, I still gotta think. I still gotta think. Uh, no, nah, but Germany, Germany, hundred percent Germany. Nah, Germany. Or Netherlands. Or Netherlands. Berlin. Mm. <laughs> Berlin. Mm, places to live. I'm gonna say. Yeah, then he can be a real Dutchman. Yes, sir. I'm gonna say Florida. Mm. I'm gonna say Florida. No, I just picked up frags. Florida. Um. Yeah, and it's not in there. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I'm not touching the motherland for anything. Uh, is it nice is it though? Nice? Like, I've actually never been. I want, I, want see, I want to see where I'm from. I think you should go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Guyanese for anyone wondering. And I've been there. It's. I was there when I was younger, so maybe it got better. It, it wasn't bad. It's just maybe the places I went weren't good. Mm. Yeah. I don't think the places I'd be visiting wouldn't would be good either. But, okay, uh, anyways, continue. This is not yeah, a slander yeah, game. Florida. Florida. Next one, I'm going to have to say Spain. Oh, 87%? Spain. See, if... and then I've never been to a Scandinavian country, but I want to see how life is like over there, like Denmark, Norway. Finland. My sister's been there. She says it's beautiful. Where? I Where? Just, Scandinavia. Oh, Scandinavia. And um, the way they operate, so it's like a, it's a bit different. Like I think she said Denmark is like really beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But like, this, like the, the what they provide to the citizens is just better. Like the healthcare system is better. Um, you don't have to pay as much for post-secondary school. Blah, 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 blah. So I kind of want to see how that's like. Yeah. Sure, you still need time to yeah. think. Oh, my turn? Oh, oh um, okay. Uh, I'd say probably Barcelona, number one. Um, Barcelona. I kind of want to say Florida, but it's too fucking hot, man. Too fucking hot. I don't think I could live over there. This is too hot. You're too hot. You realize it's like 40 degrees, eh? Yes, that's too hot. Here, it's All 40 degrees it, too. It cools it's down in the winter. It's 40. It's no, this is the thing. It's hot and it's humid. Like, it's if you think Canada is humid, Miami is way more humid. I'm so, that's why degrees I, here. What else do you want? I can't say that I want to live there. Who's but yeah, Barcelona, I'd say, huh? <laughs> Step behind you. <laughs> yeah, Mark did someone just fall down the stairs? No, he jumped. Oh. He's not hey. wearing any clothes. Yeah, get get, get on the screen, bro, before we get in what trouble. What are you man. doing, bro? Uh, let's see. Nice, Barcelona. 
I don't know what else. Like those are like my dream places. So it's mm. kind of hard. Just name uh, one more. Mm. Cayman Islands? Mm. Uh, like, they don't do crypto tax yeah, over there. You know, I'll, I'll put in Jamaica. I'll put in Jamaica. Jeez. Because at least that heat is not as humid as my own. Not that bad. I think for me, it for first place, it'd be a toss up between Los Angeles and Barcelona, mm-hmm. and then I guess sort of a wild card, but not really a wild card for me would be South Korea. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you seen the street food there? The street food. Street food. Street. Oh, street food. Yeah, yeah, seafood over there is pretty. It's probably nice still. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Oh, yo, you know where I would actually go? My wild card would be Vietnam. I hear it's really cheap over I there. I thought you were about to say North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben would never be able to leave. Maybe next time. <laughs> Vietnam? Yeah, Vietnam. I hear it's really cheap over there. I saw a video where, um, yeah, like everything was just dumb cheap, man. I think they only had like a hundred dollars, and they they were good for like a few days. Oh my god, bro! My sister's actually going to South Korea. A couple weeks. I would want to travel. I think I'd rather. I would want to travel to South Korea, but not live there. You know, we should all travel to South Korea or Japan. Or Japan. We can do both in one trip. So I was told that South Korea is expensive to get there. But once you get there, everything's cheap. So the flight per person would be uh thirteen oh six. I I can't go anywhere. I don't. I I suddenly just don't want to go. Thirteen. Thirteen oh six. Yeah. That's no way. two that's ways. Oh, that's round. Has to be round. Yeah. If that was one way, I just yeah. Leave. If that was one way, that's crazy. I'd leave this that's call. Like... If I wasn't recording, yeah, I'd leave this call, man. Let me tell you, Japan. Japan is fourteen nineteen. <laughs> but yo, like, like, let's keep it at that, right? Like, look at us, man. How how tall how tall are you, John? I'm six foot. How tall are you, Brandon? I'm six feet. And I'm six Why feet. As, I'm six feet as well, man. We are giants, I hear, and black. So if we end up in Japan, what? you feel me? It's gonna be scary. Flight bro. to Barcelona I'm is six ninety five. I'm not above six foot, so speak for yourself. I'm just black. I I found I found a trip to Barcelona for five adults to go there and come back four twenty three for the flight. Yeah, round trip four twenty three. That is fucking crazy. What date, what date did you put in? It's far away. Um, it is from October fourth to the eleventh. But August twenty first to twenty eighth. This was his birthday. Damn, we have to go longer than that. How long? How long are you proposing them? Maybe like two weeks. I can probably do that. See, I want to go when there's you know games going on. There. You, you feel me? But at the same time, I'd be hoping that we're like bouncing from like country to country. Yeah, we can do that as well. But I'm not really trying to stick to one place for two weeks type shit. It's kind of it's kind of off putting for me to be honest. To be honest. But um, yeah, man, that was just crazy. I to feel see like that um, we're twenty. You know, we 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 go out drinking sometimes. And uh, you know, sometimes y'all don't y'all don't really drink a lot, you feel me? Um and you know, there was a time where it was very frustrating because you know the people that I used to drink with were heavy drinkers and uh and you know, it was just a good time overall. We all had a great time getting drunk, tripping over shit, pissing on properties inside of properties, and it was a great time, you feel me? Uh, but you guys just don't really drink. Like at all, which is cool, which is cool, and I've learned for myself to like 
you know, not bother trying to drink as heavily as I would with other people. Um, because then I'm just gonna be getting wasted on my own. You feel me? When I'm with y'all. Um, but how come, like Brandon? You you I drink can't. quite a bit. I would say the most out of the rest of our friend group. Yeah, I Ooh. think I think or at least the people at least the, the people most. here. Um, yeah, I, I think I drink the second most. But really? like, yeah, because like you guys will go places and you won't drink just because you're driving. I'll I mean, still, I drink. still drink. Hey, whoa! I'll drink like one or two. Um, the government is like, listening. I don't drink and drive, but like, what? I will openly uh, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, oh, nice up, nice up. Yeah, I will allegedly take a sip of alcohol when I. <laughs> yeah, drive. I drink and drive, buddy. Allegedly, allegedly, like, I'll I'll drink like like I'll go out and I'll like drink like openly as well, like like oh, I don't oh, oh. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really care, but like I'll still do it. But um, yeah, yeah I, I just I would I can't though. Mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like Tariq and and Brandon, man, like you guys, I feel like you guys have had opportunities to, you know, get absolutely I've, I've wasted, my... and you guys have never taken the opportunity. I've, I've, I've been had my opportunity to drink. I've been drunk once. And that was from a four loco because I didn't eat anything the entire day. I ate like this a vegan. I had like a vegan, um, a vegan pizza, I think. Mm-hmm. So it was like maybe 300, 400 calories in total. And that's all I ate. And I ate and I drank like a bigger than an Arizona can of alcohol. Man, I was so waved. Me and Elijah were so waved. We were at Rolling Loud, um, LA, which was in December. And man, we were sitting. I think at one point we were sitting on the fountain, and we looked at each other, and we're like, "Yo, I've never been this fucked." And the whole shit was spinning. This girl came up to me, and she was like, "Hey, are you okay?" And I was just like, "Yeah." <laughs> you had to be there. I was. I was gone. I had to buy two burgers at this Rolling Loud, and keep in mind, everything was overpriced as fuck. I had to buy two burgers at this Rolling Loud for a combined total of like 40 bucks. But as soon as I digested those burgers, I was good. I was back to normal. Can't say the same for Elijah because he didn't digest it. But once I digested the burgers, I was good. That was disgusting. I should have ate. I didn't eat after like you did. Elijah didn't digest. He did the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. That was... um... (laughs) He threw up. Yes. up disgustingly in the back of the car. So I was wow. trying to pursue this girl who was not my girlfriend, so it worked out. But um, Brandon's girlfriend and uh, my my girlfriend were at the front of the car, and me and Brandon were in the back, just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. and then um, I was feeling like kind of wavy, and I was like, I have to throw up. So Brandon passed me a big, a huge ass bag to throw up in. And um, I don't know what happened, but I missed the bag. I missed the bag. And then Brandon is just like, yo, Elijah, that wasn't the bag, bro. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> I know, I Brandon. Know. And then uh, whatever, the girls will help me clean up. And I asked my girlfriend's friend, I'm like, hey, you think I still have a chance with her? And she was like, no. I don't think so. <laughs> it ended up working out though, so. Yeah. That's what it's all about. But yeah, three. What about uh, what about you, bro? Uh, uh no, thanks. Can we talk about I the mean, Montreal stories from a few years back? I don't need to explain when, that. When, shit, when do we meet? When do we meet? That was really bad. Really, really. Really. <laughs> this yeah, guy I mean, Tariq had a filet mignon and it he never really had it though. But did I you? mean I'm not gonna lie, as shady as this may sound, I did you guys a favor. Uh Elijah and, and Tariq, I did you guys a favor, man. Because now you guys don't drink a lot. And you know, really that's that's probably for the best, you feel me? Um you know, and you know, there may be some other 
parties allegedly that are involved that also don't drink anymore because of the uh, amount of alcohol they may or may not have drank um, that I may or may not have poured for them allegedly. So really, I'm I'm jump starting their lives, Ben's, and just making Ben's them really skip. the spiker. Okay, that's um, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to imply at all. Um, but you feel me, like Tariq Jaw, and from memory, everyone else, they it was it was very consensual. Um, I'm just joking. Definitely <laughs> agreed upon, <laughs> and uh, they just so happened to. You feel me? Have a bad experience and no longer do it again. You know, I had a really bad experience with um, with that with that MJ, um, allegedly. Well, actually, it's legal here. It's legal. I, you know, I I had a it, yeah, it's legal here, but um, I had this uh, bad experience for the first time, um, the first time I I was on that Mary Jane, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I always stick by this motto, I will try anything uh twice. You know what I mean? Because you know, first time's usually not the greatest experience. Because, you know, the first time is usually not the greatest experience. So, you feel me? I would, I would always try anything twice, you know what I mean? I feel like uh, many people should uh, follow the same example, you know? Yeah. I mean, there was that w- when we were at the cottage that uh, we all... I mean, it's legal. Why are we beating around the bush with this whole situation? Um, When we went to the cottage, I think... Were we all not not Elijah? Elijah didn't do it. I don't yeah, know not why. Me, not me either. Me I either. can't take edibles. Why not? Yeah. The last two times I had them, I uh, I tripped out. Really bad. Yeah, but the last two times you had them, they were like eighty mg each. Okay, no, the, yeah, the first time it was like ninety. Um, Who are you with? Fucked me up. But my dad and his girlfriend. And oh, just, like they just forgot to check the, the thing because they they smoke like all the time. So that was a okay to lunch for them. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't good. Then the second time I was with, uh, three for his birthday. I think it was last year. I only had like oh, yeah. twenty. You tripped that crazy? Yeah, it was bad. But like, was bad. what were you going through? Like, do you do you recall the the experience you had? Yeah, like yeah. okay, um. The first time, I was, I was fine. Like, I was playing video games and I didn't feel anything. I'm like, oh, all right, I guess that's it. So I went to go lay down. And then I just felt like a wave that hit me. I was like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. But then it went away. And then the second one came and it didn't go away. And I just felt like I had to, I had to like move to stay alive. I, yo, so I was running around the living room. <laughs> in my underwear, I was just running around the table. And hi, my like, dad, hi. My dad was downstairs with his girlfriend. And I know what's going on. It's like two in the morning. But it got to the point where, like, I was like, nah, like, I got it. I got to see what's up. So I'm like, hey, sorry to disturb y'all, but, um, like, I'm tripping. <laughs> and, like, oh, no, no, no. It's, hey, it's okay. I'm from downstairs. So then so they just, um, they're talking to me. I'm gonna spend some what's going on. Then like, okay, just trying to like go to sleep. So they put covers on me. And you know, like when you have pins and needles in your leg. Yeah. I was having pins and needles all over my body. So when they put the covers on me, it just felt like like needles. Yeah, it felt like needles like all over my body. And then I try to fall asleep, and then I was stuck in like a loop. So I don't know if it's because I was like uh, I was watching some crypto charts before. Like there was lines that were just stuck in my in my vision, and they just kept playing in a loop. It was the most it was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. And then yeah, they it's hard to explain, but like the lines just kept like getting like, more intense and intense and intense to the point where I couldn't handle it. And then I thought yeah, I you were going through a whole episode. Yeah, yeah, when that happened, we got to like the climax. I threw up mm. and kept throwing up. And then like, something similar happened the second time. Like the first time I did it, um, I was here in my room. Wow, the sunset's really beautiful. I was here in my room, and I had it right. And an hour later, my body started vibrating, like shaking. 
right? So I called up um, Zarina, which is a friend of me and Ben's at least. And uh, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, I'm FaceTiming her, and I'm like, bro, I can't stop vibrating. Like, do I need to go to the hospital or something? Like, I couldn't stop shaking. Like, I was literally vibrating, like how a phone would. Right, um, right, right. But after that, and I did it again and again, and, you know... Um, it was, it was like pretty light, like, like you were at the cottage, right? Like, yeah. and you weren't high. Like I was pretty, I think I was pretty sane. I look, I look pretty normal at that point. I didn't look high. No. I was just chilling. Julia's head was like falling. And then I was just like catching it every time I was just kept bringing her head back like here. Tariq was just, Tariq was a mixture of high and sleepy. Like Tariq looked like he was about to fall. Yeah, he looked like he was about to fall asleep the entire time. When was this? The cottage. The cottage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gone. Bro. I'll be right I'll back. Be right. I have to use the washroom. Yeah. Mm. And Ben, I'm pretty sure Ben got high, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, I have this thing where I I'm always limit testing. Um, you know. Um, you know, I was drinking quite a bit, not too much, but you know, not too little. You feel me? Um, I finagled my way into Tariq's eddies, and then I finagled my way into Katrina's eddies, and then they told me not to smoke, and then I finagled my way into like the two blunts, and um, it was a good time, man. There was a moment where like. I think we were watching some some show, all of us, and there was a moment where like I was too scared to stand up, uh, and that lasted like a solid twenty to thirty minutes. And the dilemma was that I had to take a piss, but I was too scared to to stand up because I felt like I was instantly gonna fall, um, and like fall through the ground or something. I don't I don't know. I was tripping, but the time I did get up. Like it was crazy. Like I was, I've never been more focused in my life, man. I don't, I don't know if anyone was trying to talk to me when I got up, but like, bro, if, if anyone talked to me in that moment in time, damn, you would have been ignored for like five minutes. The five minutes it took me to walk over there. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But the first time, um, I was on, I was on that MJ, bro. I, you know, it was, it was with my friend. And he's a good guy, man. I fucking love that guy, man. You feel me? Um, uh, it was me, him. His roommate, and then I think it was, and I think it was his roommate's friend, and his roommates like as you know we were we were passing it around. You feel me? And as we were doing that, dude starts asking if he could say the n word, if he could say nigga. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not cool with that. So then, um, it's already hit me, and my friend is trying to explain to them that like, nah. Uh, you should probably stop, you know, pushing because like they keep asking for some reason, you know, it's just over and over. So like I'm, I'm overall just having like a bad time, right? And it's all this stuff's kicking in. I'm already on some, I'm already on some like vodka or whatever. And then oh, like gosh. we just go out, and step out. We just go out and step out, whatever. And it's just like, you know, I just need some air, like bro. I was tripping. I don't, I don't remember too much of that night, but I do remember thinking. My friend was gonna, for whatever reason, chop me up and distribute my organs. Um, and I told him, like, as I was there, uh, so I'm like, hey, man, if you, if you, I'm just letting you know now, if this is what I'm here for, just do it right now, bro. You know, you still my dog. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. And, you know, we just laugh about it now, but, <laughs> but like, oh my God. Like, I just accepted defeat. Like, I was so tired. I couldn't even feel my legs. I'm like, damn, this guy hit me already. This guy got me already. <laughs> I'm done for. <laughs> Like, but, yeah, I was uh, ready to go. It wasn't like it wasn't necessarily like a bad trip, but um, I remember when I did get home, middle of the night, I just uh, I woke up, I had to run, puke my guts, man, puke my guts out. Jeez. It was rough. I'm gonna use the watch back. But so. again, you know that was that was the first time, and you know you always gotta try shit twice. You feel me? So what you got going on with that sour patch, man? It's Tariq sour patches. Well, just yam the whole thing, yam it all. Take it, take the bag. <laughs> take the bag. Take the bag, 
And then no wonder where it is. Nah, nah, we scrape, we scrape, <laughs> we scrape. No, now he's gonna think the the soul's tiny in the back. Yeah, now he's gonna think, man, I I I ate these fast, man. I done these off. Quick. Wait, did you eat it out? Pause. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. Did you no, finish it? Oh, okay. I think okay. it's so much bigger. I took like eight. Uh, I feel like we started off a little uh. A little, uh, a little dark with the whole Kevin and Samuel stuff. Um, you know, just because we don't really do too much research on shit, uh, which we will probably work what, on. But uh, hey man, what topic? What? What? Uh... <laughs> What's the topic? <laughs> like, why don't I even try? Hey man, what? Uh, what inspires you guys, man? What kind of, what kind of inspirations? You know, get you, get you going to the. To the goals you may have achieved or are trying to achieve. Uh, I mean, who, I look up who, to my dad. Who or what? Um, your dad. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Tell us all about it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not like those guys or kids or whatever that like. Oh, I to be a superhero or I look up to this or some fictional character or or whatever. I mean, yeah, yeah. Some people who look up to like non-fictional people. Mm-hmm. But just because um, my dad is close to me and what he's done in his life, you know, coming as an immigrant to come to Canada because he's from the States originally mm-hmm. and then able to buy his house, you know, start a family, buy another house, you know, live in Vaughn or whatever and, you know, have his own business and work and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to afford a house and you know, know about cars and all those stuff that you would you know as a as a father and as a husband, you know, being able to work around the house and you know, maybe we'll teach your kids the same process. Cause most of my knowledge comes from him. It comes from his experiences and what he's passed down to, you know, me. So I mean, it's a realistic person, not fake, that you know, you can ask anyone for help to. And you know you just build off of it. So yeah, man, that's what's up. That was that was adorable, man. That was very cute, man. Brought a tear to my eye. That's why I wear these uh, sunglasses because you know I don't want everyone to know what I'm thinking. I don't even know if y'all really see my eyes like that, but <laughs> yeah, man. Who 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 wants to go next? Man, you go next. Me? I don't know. Yeah. What, dude, I guess I would look up to my parents in general. <laughs> Oh, you're just gonna you're just gonna take his. Oh, okay. But okay, I'm no, sorry, my parents, because my parents, because you know they came from Guyana, <clears throat> so even you know very tough country, they had to work their way up to where they are. Here. But like, since not to copy Tariq's answer, someone I look up to outside my, Kevin Samuels. No, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> May rest, rest, in rest in peace. peace. May his soul rest in peace. Um, not turning in his grave right now. Because <laughs> you got um, a, you got. A... <laughs> who, who do I look? Up? I need to, I need to, uh, uh, the question was, who do I look up to to achieve my goals? Um, yeah. What, who or what? what? Who or what sort of inspirations? Uh, or who or what has inspired you to achieve your goals? Or to you know grind out to the goals that you're trying to achieve. I don't think necessarily there's any driving factor. I think it's just me trying to pursue my goals. Like I don't, I don't know. Like you can say money or a happy life, but um, you know, I strive for my goals just because that's what I want to do. If it's something, it doesn't necessarily have to be career wise because you didn't specify either. But whatever my goals are, I strive to do it because that's what I want from my life. That's not necessarily anything that anyone has to push me for. I can't say that they haven't. Like, no one doesn't push me to do it. Or no one necessarily has inspired me to, like, go towards my goals even more. But I will say that, you know, I strive towards my goals because it's going to be the best for me. Not for anyone else, necessarily. So, in terms of, you know, what drives me, I would say, you know, personal determination. There are, again, like I said, there are people that I look up to and people that push me along the way. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm doing it for myself. So the only person who can be the driving factor is myself. 
Yeah, man. Brought it, brought it to your minds on my next one. So. Yeah, I mean, Elijah tried to put me on the spot. Hold that. All right, draw, <laughs> draw the figures, man. Um, what drives me? Westbrook. Hey. hey, man, come on. You had your turn. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's give John a chance here. You feel me? That's funny. <clears throat> nah, I think it's kind of interesting. What drives me is, um, my detest for like work. Um, I don't like working for people. Like that's just me. I don't know. I find that um, I don't like taking direction when I feel as homeless. And unfortunately, where I've been working and where I've worked before, that's all it is. And I don't like how uh, a lot of times you say is when you have a job, your time isn't your own. If you want to go on vacation, you have to ask somebody. If you want to sleep in, you have to make an excuse. If you want to pick up your kids late from work, you gotta you gotta lie about it. Nah, I'm not really on that. So, um, All right, I've been watch. striving to become independently wealthy, so that right. my time can be my own, so that one day when I have family, when I have kids, I can do whatever I want with them. Um, and also for myself too, I'm lazy. I like to sleep in. I like to just cuddle and watch movies. Yeah, you do more than cuddle, buddy. <laughs> and I feel like having to work impedes that. Um, so financial freedom, to sum it up. And then who inspires me? I mean, y'all already said parents. So yeah, I'm going to, I'll say my girlfriend, because she's oh. a little older than me. But um. Well, she is an example of what I want to become in terms of being independently wealthy. She does her own thing. She runs a couple of things, and her time is her own. And that's what I want as well, like I just said. So, on to you, man. Oh, that's, that's pretty good because at least now you have someone that, you know, that if it gets to that, you can build a good relationship with and that you can learn from. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Like, as a guy, you should be really proud of that. That she has her own business and she's successful in her own right. Because when the way I look at it, like, it's kind of like the opposite. Because although she's female, you and her are like the same terms. You guys have your own. You have you guys have your own goals. You know, making trying to make your own business, and you guys will feed off each other's you know energy. So if there's something that, you know, you don't understand that she has experience with, you could always ask her for help. Yeah. And she's older, so she has that experience. Because how long has she been doing that business for? Um, I think it's been almost, it's been over a year for sure. It's been like just oh. over a year, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out Vol Lashes. Shout out Vol Lashes. Shout out Vol Lashes. Shout out uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. no lashes, doctor. Actually, Jade, she, she, because does she do the 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 nail? Like, does she do the lashes like on her own, or she like gets it and ships it out to customers? Like, she doesn't apply them to people. Well, no, she both. She has a lash business where like she actually lashes people, like clients oh, come so and she cool. lashes them. That's one, and then so she has a service of doing it for people, and then she has like you know buying it. And shipping it out to people. Yeah, three, actually, yeah. she does that. She teaches people to become lash techs. Oh, oh, wow! She lashes people, and then she sells lashes as well, like online. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's she what, that's what's up, man. She milked that lash she's, stuff she's, properly. You know, that's what's up, man. Really bad, a really bad tree to my there, man. That's a dope. I mean, one. you can't. I don't ask for crypto help, but. That's that's your expertise. So, if you wanted to go into crypto, then you know, you just go to you for help. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it is it's true. And I try to do Shopify and stuff too, but I couldn't I couldn't do it. So, yeah. the fact that she's doing it is yeah, man. Y'all are admirable. Y'all are perfect for each other, man. Y'all y'all are yeah. y'all Good. porn stars over there. Fucking perfect for each other, man. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Brandon and his girl took that role. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, man. And Ben, or what about um, 
Yo, man. You got like a nice silhouette on your face right now. God damn. Yeah, dude. I thought we were recording uh, <laughs> a little earlier. We somehow ended up recording a little later. But hey, man. Doesn't really matter. I I would say um, I would say my inspirations, man. Probably just the. Uh, you know, I'd say it's my friends, man. I'd say it's the people around me. You know what I mean? Um, I was, I'm waiting for you to say not you guys, but like you not, know. <laughs> yeah, not you guys, but you know. Uh, the uh, friends that I made on the journey, excluding y'all, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> nah, but that ass, bro. You know, you guys, any other friends I've made, I feel like we're all trying to achieve a similar goal. Um, whatever it may be, um, we're all just trying to relax. Mm-hmm. Long term, anyway. You feel me? Some may be short term, who knows? Um... I don't want to go through y'all individually because I feel like that would just be weird as a, I don't know if y'all really fuck with that as men. Like, I'd be down to, I don't know if y'all fuck with that as men. Yeah, do, it. <laughs> I don't do it. You do said it, do man. it? All right, man. Don't be scared. All right, who, 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 who wants to hear it first, man? Do me first. Do me I'll first. do you first. All right, man. To be yeah. honest, Tariq, yeah. you're the most stubborn oh, person I know. Nothing wrong with that, to be honest. You're the, the most, he's the most what? You're the most stubborn. You're the most stubborn person I know, and that shit is yeah, very guy. inspiring, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you 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 did the school thing. I know when we when we talked about it, you know, you were saying how stressed you were. Um, you know, you were on the verge of of uh, dropping out and stuff like that. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I was something that couldn't even I couldn't even go a year of that. You feel me? So, very proud of you yeah. for you know what you've done. You know, it's very impressive in I my mean, eyes. You, well, you say that, but I have my dad to thank for that because mm. I told him that I did not feel like continuing because it was so hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, full circle, man. Full circle. Some inspiring stuff right there to me, to be honest. You know, and you know now you work where you work at, um, and that's dope, man. That's really cool. You know, Brandon, you. I feel like you kind of done like you know you kind of split off into different avenues, and I rate it, man. You know, you're doing stocks. You did stocks for your dad. I, I don't know. I don't know the degree of, you know, how much money you made for your dad. But, you know, I'm sure you're a millionaire, you know, and it's inspiring, man. And I was, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get like, you know, you know, that sounds like some hater shit, but like that ass, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to, you know, be willing to obtain the knowledge and, you know, do the research and take the time to, you feel me? Dive into that sort of stuff in stocks and, you know, no. you know, you did the school thing too. You know, oh. you did the school thing too. It was business, but you know, y'all know my opinions on school and business and whatnot. But uh, you know, you did it, and I'm sure you know you're gonna you're gonna get a job that you want or whatever it may be. You feel me? But the things you have done very impressive, uh, very inspiring. You feel me? Um, and yeah, man, uh, jaw. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, of course, man. Ja, oh, ja has been a sort of mentor the past, like, what, six months? When did we get into this crypto stuff? When did I get into this crypto stuff? Like, October? You know, he taught me a uh, technical analysis. Um, You know, taught me all about crypto, everything I know now about crypto. And, uh, yeah, man. it's uh, It's been quite the journey. I haven't traded in, like, three weeks, though. <laughs> I missed what you said about Brandon. So. What did you huh? say about Brandon? I no, said, I, um, I was out of fun. Bro, you could like listen back to the podcast or something. My yeah, brother. How about you, just, you missed your I mean, chance. And yeah, uh, with, with with Elijah, bro, you know, he, I forgot what I said. I'm just going to start over, I guess. The asshole. Um, yeah, he, he taught me the whole crypto thing. Um, yeah. Taught me all about leverage trading. A lot of, a lot of, a lot um, of people. You feel me? If I just didn't get out when Binance was closing down, I'd be up like 20k. I ain't gonna lie to you, but um, okay. hey man, it's okay. We move on. We, we move. move we move on. We move on, and we just you know, every day is an opportunity. You feel me? Uh, going through this journey with him has has taught me a lot. You know, mentally, um, and yeah, man, physically. It's, it's, uh, what? Trick, shut the fuck. You're ruin. You're ruining this, man. I, I, you're I, ruining this. Lines, bro. You're ruining this, bro. 
Let me let me have my moment. I let I let you talk. I let Brandon talk. I let Jaw talk. Now let me talk, bro. But is, it, but is it not true that you're seeing a lot of blue lines more than more than normal? Can I can say? I talk? I don't even know what you're, you're saying, three. bro. Like, I I dead don't want to hear you. Can I just talk? Let me talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. You feel me? Like 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 what Jaw said. Financial freedom, bro. I feel like that's everyone's goal at the end of the day. Uh, maybe it might even be just the work, the passion of 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 uh, you know being a creative type shit. Um, and yeah, you know, I feel like personally, I've uh, uh, driven into a lot of creative type stuff. You know, I I uh, convinced these guys to you know jump onto the podcast and whatnot, and you know, it's been a quite the journey so far. Even though uh, we haven't exactly. Well, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You know, but, you know, I went through uh, my own YouTube channel a long time ago into photography. Yeah. Into, shut up, man. Yeah. Into, into this, you know, uh, I feel like all my life I've been a creator, um, but I've just moved on to, you know, aside from this, obviously, I'm trying to split off my own, you feel me? I'm trying to diversify my, uh, I'm trying to diversify my own portfolio, you know? So. Mm-hmm. I'm working on this. I'm working on the crypto stuff. I'm working wherever I work at. Um, and, you know, I find a lot of value in the in the in the people that I have interacted with type shit. Uh, and, you know, this is just the beginning. This podcast and everything we're all doing, whatever it may be, this is just the beginning, man. You feel me? So uh, I think this is a good even place if, to, to end. You were going to say something? Know. Even if things don't necessarily work out with this podcast and it's not exactly where we want to be, we can always look back at this like five years down the line and see what we all thought, what we all thought we knew, yeah, man. and where we were at. We could uh time capsule, a time capsule, this bitch, yes sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. As long as Ben doesn't take it down. Yeah, as long as, a... I, as long as I don't <laughs> take it down. As long as it doesn't take it. Yes, sir. Uh, I actually want to say one last thing, actually. And I might just put this to the beginning of the podcast. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, man. You feel me? Uh, all Great. the single mothers, all the types of, you know, mothers out there. Um, Man, I have a hard time being sincere, but... um, You know, all the, all the people, all the women out there that are playing a uh, motherly type role in other people's lives and even um you know from all of us here hearts prayers thoughts go out to all of those other people who may have a hard time uh, enjoying these days you feel me um and yeah man y'all have a good day all right this might go in the beginning so actually enjoy the podcast but yeah, this is us signing out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I said. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to say it one last time. Hey, man, thanks for listening to WMAP, the We Might Argue podcast. I'll fix all that, edit all that. Fuck it, yeah, I don't care. Uh, y'all have a good one, man. Peace. Peace. I need to grill, man.